Hey everyone, Pastor Kerry here. I've only got a couple minutes, so I just want to share with you a few words of inspiration to make your day and to help you along the way. Something that will unlock your true potential, to help you become all you were meant to be, more than you ever dreamed of being. Something that will free you to do the impossible. And amazingly, all of that is already on the inside of you. All you need to do is follow your heart. Your heart already knows what you want. It knows the way. So go with your gut. Go with your intuition. If you feel something is right, go with that feeling. All the answers you're looking for, everything you need is already on the inside of you. All you need to do is follow your heart. All right, who, wait a second. Who comes up with all this stuff? Man, we hear that message everywhere. TV, music, and everything from books and movies to kids to self-help resources for adults. From the time we're young, we're conditioned to embrace this Disney theology, this hallmark worldview that says, follow your heart. And it sounds so good, so inspiring and affirming. It even sounds a bit spiritual, maybe to some degree biblical. The only problem is, is you won't find anything remotely close to that in God's Word. And Jesus certainly never tells us to follow our hearts. And for good reason. Jeremiah 17, 9 says that the heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who knows how bad it is? Does that sound like something that has all the answers or will lead us to our destiny? The Bible says quite the opposite. It tells us that our heart will fool us, fail us, it will let us down and lead us astray. So we can't trust anything our heart tells us or where it leads us. Now that's a serious heart problem. And the Bible says that the heart is without cure. So God doesn't just want to heal your heart or try to fix what's already there. He wants to do a complete heart transplant, replacing yours with His. Because as followers of Christ, the only heart we should be following is God's. You know, Psalm 37, 4 says, take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Notice it doesn't say that He'll give you whatever your heart desires. Instead, when you surrender control of your life to the one who created it, and He becomes your greatest passion, He'll literally give you new desires. And then He'll fulfill those desires, the ones He gave you, when you take delight in Him. The bottom line is this. When you have God's heart, He'll give you the desires of your heart. Now, that doesn't mean that God hasn't already put certain desires in you or created you with certain gifts or inclinations that He wants you to develop and use, but only when those things are surrendered to Him and devoted to His purposes will you become everything God created you to be. So, get into God's Word, listen to Him in prayer, and put into practice whatever He shows you. That's how you learn to develop God's heart, discern His voice, and do what He created you to do. And that's when you'll have a heart that you can follow. Now that's just a little sermon nugget. You can catch the entire message titled, Follow Your Heart, or I should say, Don't Follow Your Heart. It's part of a series called, Things Jesus Never Said. You can catch all those messages on our YouTube channel, New Hope Urbandale, or you can experience these live Sunday nights at 6 p.m. So. Join us for a powerful time of worship, God's Word, and prayer. Sunday nights at 6 p.m., hope to see you there.